This past week, as the election race has heated up, members of our local community gathered in Pulaski Park to get out the vote. Along with many other speakers, Lindsay Sabadosa and Senator Ed Markey were both in attendance. We talked to Dallas Dukar, a local LGBTQ plus activist and CEO of Trans Health, and Senator Markey about the importance of youth vote in this midterm election. The event today is a Voting with Pride event, and so this is a chance for the LGBTQ community and all of their allies to really show up and be able to say, we're going to be here, we're queer, and we're going to get out the vote. And right now in this country, there is a large amount of new voters who are likely LGBTQ that really are not voting. And we are here to try to tap that vote and say this is the time, this is the moment to really show up for freedom, for democracy, and for our own pursuit of happiness. There's other areas in the country where you can't even say gay, right, in schools. Other areas in the country where gender-affirming health care is banned and we're not able to make the choice of our own health care choices. There are other areas in the country where there are so many LGBTQ people that are disenfranchised and as a result disillusioned. So instead we're using relational activism here today to ask everyone to get out their phone and to really text a couple people and make sure that they have made a voting plan. Young voters are the future. Right? If we don't have the youth vote, if we don't have people, young people that feel that they can actually be participants in our democracy, then we don't have a future. We don't have a democracy. So today it's critically important to ensure that every single young person knows that they can exercise the right to vote and that they are fundamentally important to showing up for our democracy. I, I want to tell the voters of Northampton High School that they have a voice and they need to exercise that voice and now is the chance to stand up and exercise your voice. It, it's important for students to vote because climate change and their future is on the ballot. Um, so is in education, whether or not we're going to pass a referendum that will add at least a billion dollars a year to the education budget uh, of our state for every student. Uh, it's also critically important uh, that students stand up uh, for racial equality, for protections for everyone in our society, because that's who young people are. They do believe in justice. They do believe in equality. So for young people uh, on on uh, November 8th, on Tuesday, it's just imperative that they get out and vote because they're voting for their own futures and as a result for the future of our country. Well, they should get out there because everything's at stake. Donald Trump is out there. Donald Trump is spewing hatred across our country. And the answer is the idealism uh, and the vision of young people. Uh, they have led us throughout our history. And now is the time for young people once again to stand up and provide that leadership. We cannot allow hatred to win on the ballot. We need light. We need justice. We need hope for everyone. And young people represent all those values. Make sure you are registered to vote in the next election if you are eligible. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.